Gumbi State is one of the 36 states that make up the Nigerian Federation. The state has an area of 20,265 square kilometers. In terms of population, projected estimates based on the 2006 national census suggest that Gumbi State is inhibited by a population of around 2,365,000 people. Gumbi State is blessed with vast opportunities and resources. No wonder it is referred to as the jewel in the savanna. The land is fertile, the weather is both temperate and clement. Natural resources such as livestock and solid minerals are in abundance. And above all, the population is young and energetic. However, Despite its abundant natural resources, Gumbi State has not been able to fully unlock its huge potentials. For many decades, land degradation, soil and gully erosion and desertification have presented inexorable challenges to sustainable development of the state. A large proportion of people in Gumbi State rely upon land as a vital source of income. Not only is this natural resource the basis for food security and agricultural production, but it also generates employment and mitigates social crisis among the most vulnerable and poverty-stricken people who depend largely on land for their livelihood. Yet, a large proportion of the land is being degraded, causing poverty, hunger, unemployment, forced migration and conflict while exacerbating climate risks, particularly soil erosion and flood. Driven by the urgent desire to ensure sustainable development of communities vulnerable to this irreplaceable problem of land degradation, Gumbi State, through the Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management Project, NUMAP, commenced the implementation of a strategic action plan to effectively address the problem of desertification, erosion and flooding in Gumbi State. Just a few years after the introduction of NUMAP by the World Bank, the hope of restoring the denuded environment has become more apparent than real. Gumbi State Government, under Governor Muhammad Inoue Yahya, is through NUMAP rolling out a strategic and proactive enlightenment campaign to mitigate the use of other sources of energy as cooking fuel and to inculcate tree planting culture in communities. The integrated approach of the project in Gumbi State has paved way for the control of the Gumbi State University Malam Inagoli site, which has multiple fingers covering up to 7.5 kilometers in length. Undoubtedly, the intervention has saved thousands of lives and protected properties and land assets that would have been lost. Another huge success accomplished by Gumbi State through NUMAP is in afforestation. The Gumbi State new map has established 400 hectares of woodlot and orchard plantations. Each of the 11 local government areas has 20 hectares of plantation or more. The plantations have been well protected through the provision of parameter fencing and solar-powered boreholes for the plants' watering, animals and human consumption. There are 132 kilometers of roadside plantations across the 11 local government areas in the state and 72 kilometers of shelter belt in the six most desertification threatened local government areas in Gumbi North. The project has been able to restore the previously depleted 63 hectares canal forest in Yamaltudeba local government area. The forest has now become a research centre for tertiary students, especially in the north. The parameter fencing of the forest has invariably allowed for natural vegetation and balance in the ecosystem. New map has done very well and what they did is very commendable and they provided the framework on which we can, uh, we can provide for the future. And uh, I, I really feel that uh, Maybe the project coming to the end, very coming to close around June, July, 
is not good for us because we did not start early. But I believe for those that started early, they must have covered a lot. For Gombe Metropolitan, with what we did at Malaina Kagrawal through Gombe State University, I think it's an example we'll look forward to maybe seeing that uh, it is extended or another project that will be a follow up to it is initiated so that we can key in and do more. Because if we don't cover the remaining parts of the town and the surroundings, I think eventually even the one we did may not end up serving as well. Indeed, the interventions by Gombe State through NewMap have apparently met the yearning and aspirations of affected communities as they cannot hide their joy, goodwill and massive support for the intervention. They say that the intervention is a step in the right direction to solve a perpetual problem of land degradation and environmental insecurity in the state. The massive environmental challenges that abound in Gumbi State are obviously beyond the strength of the state government alone to handle, especially in the face of dwindling resources. This explains why the people are making a rallying call on stakeholders to address the situation.